Time's come on. Separation to less than about the year. Anyways. Hey everyone, welcome back to What the Doctor Orders. Today we are drinking For Bitter For Worse. This lovely gift package was sent to me by Shelly, the uh, co-founder of For Bitter For Worse. Her and I had a nice little chat about the products before I got them, so I'm really excited to try every single one of them. And I think you're gonna, you guys are really gonna enjoy it as well. We have three different flavors that we're trying today. We are trying the Eva Spritz, we're trying the Saskatoon, and we're trying the Smoky Number 56. These products were created, it's kind of an interesting story. It speaks closely to me as well because Shelly actually started having some medical issues and uh, couldn't drink alcohol anymore. That sound familiar to anybody? All right, maybe just me. We're gonna try each of them just over ice because you can't just drink these over ice. They are just like, you know, ready to drink. But you can also make some pretty cool mocktails with them as well. So we're gonna do it both ways. The really interesting thing about this as well is that a lot of the mocktails on the market have a lot of, let me think of a nice way to say this. I don't think there's, there's a lot of garbage. Like there's a lot of added flavors, artificial flavors, natural flavors, just kind of crap that you really don't want to be putting in your body. But you know, we've already mixed the alcohol. So like, why do we want to put anything else in there? The really cool thing about For Bitter For Worse is that all of the flavors come from botanicals. There's no fake flavors. There's no natural flavors, which plot twist, those are fake as well. They all come from botanicals. They're low glycemic. They don't have any artificial sweeteners. The only sweeteners that are in this are monk fruit at most. So that's really exciting too. Yeah, like I said, low carb, low glycemic. I mean, even if you drank a whole container of one of these, the, the one that has the most calories is the Saskatoon and it's 55 for the whole bottle. So, and we're only gonna be using a couple ounces in each cocktail, so that's exciting as well. Since there are botanics in this, can't completely say that they're safe for pregnancy, you know, just ask your doctor, you know, look at the labels, tell them what you find. As always, if you like what you are seeing, subscribe. If you are already, you know, curious or have any questions, put them down below. Make sure you like this video, share it with someone else that, you know, that might want to try these. Let's get started. So the first flavor we're going to try today is the Ava Spritz. It is their spin on classic Italian aperitivo, you know, spritz. So like I said before, you can just drink it on the rock. When I was talking to Shelly, she did say that dilution is personal drinker's choice. The flavor profile is like too much. Feel free to, you know, add water to it to kind of chill it out. Whatever's going to make it more comfortable for you to drink. The music today is great. So you do want to gently shake it, you know, sedimentation, because it is botanicals. You kind of want to integrate that. So that's what I'm doing here. I was going to say it's going to explode because I shook it. It's not as bad as last week. Like I said, we want to just try it over ice first. I'm going to pour a little bit over ice just to give it a taste. All right. The color is really pretty. It does look like, you know, a spritz. The little spritz. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Wow, that really does taste like a spritz. It has that like bitter orange taste that you would expect. That's like spot on, spot on for an Aperol spritz. That is amazing. <laughs> As someone who really enjoyed Aperol spritzes and knows how much of a kind of pain it is because you gotta, you know, you have to have the Aperol, you have to have the Prosecco, you don't want a Prosecco on flat, like to have this all in one and it has no alcohol, gorgeous. I would never dilute this. I think just the ice being in there is enough, but again, TSRM. I'm also known for liking a very strong cocktail, so. In all honesty, if I had just the Ava Spritz to drink, I don't know if I would need it to be in a mixed drink, but we're gonna make one anyways, because maybe that Spritz isn't your favorite, but you have this and you wanna try it. So what we're gonna make is called the bonus down. So to start, we have our shaker with ice. We are going to do an ounce and a half of the spritz. Then we are going to add three quarters of an ounce of what is called the honey cucumber. I made this this morning. This was from the For Better For Worse website. So what this is, what this concoction is here, which has 
gradually gotten darker since I've made it. There's cucumber, there's honey, there's coconut sugar, there's water, and a little bit of salt. So I blended it all up, strained it, so now we just have this like beautiful brown liquid. We're gonna add, like I said, three quarters of an ounce to our shaker. It has such a strong cucumber smell, which I didn't think was a thing that could happen, that you'd have like a strong cucumber smell, but this does, and it's, it's nice, it's not a bad thing. And then lastly, we're going to add in three quarters of an ounce of, this is lime grapefruit juice. I squeezed it this morning. So it's just a 50-50 mix of grapefruit juice and lime juice. Same amount as the honey cucumber. And then I'm gonna go shake this over the kitchen sink because I don't, just don't trust it. So I have our shaker. It did not, of course it didn't spill when I did it over the kitchen sink, but you know, if I hadn't, it would have. So rather right safe than sorry. You're gonna take a rocks glass, fill it with ice, and you're going to strain this shaker over the ice. Ooh, that um, honey cucumber really gave it like a nice golden amber color, which I feel like is like super sophisticated. You look like a baddie when you drink a cocktail that color. And then you're gonna garnish it with a lime wheel. And this is the bonus down. Let's give it a try. Whoa, that's a flavor explosion. You get the cucumber honey. You get the sweetness from the honey. You get the acid from the juices. Then you get that, that bitter finish from the spritz. And this is only the first one. I can't stop drinking it either. Usually I only take a few sips for you guys and then I like leave it so I can take a picture later. I don't think this one's gonna make it. No, no. The next flavor that we're going to try is the Saskatoon. It is meant to be a Negroni, but not your typical Negroni. So we're gonna try that out. The flavors on the side, it says tart berry, black pepper, and a tannic Douglas fir finish. That doesn't look like it needed as much of a stir. The color is gorgeous. So we're just gonna try this over ice. Cheers, the Saskatoon. Ooh, it smells really savory. Like I can smell that black pepper, so that's awesome. And the fur, the Douglas fir, Christmas. It has a very aperitif taste. Nice and bitter, smooth. It's not sparkling. Definitely tart. Makes you do that. I got more of the black pepper on that one. Now let's dive into our drink. Today we're gonna make the Love Wins. So you're gonna grab your shaker full of ice. You're going to do two ounces of the Saskatoon. Next, we're gonna do one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. We're going to do an ounce of simple syrup. And the last thing we add in, our favorite special ingredient, we've been seeing it every week lately, an egg white. Or you can use a half an ounce of aquafaba, which is the liquid that comes out of chickpeas, like can of chickpeas, that liquid. You can also use that, so if you're not like a fan of eggs or, you know, for whatever reason you don't eat those kind of products, you can use aquafaba, so. And then we're gonna put the lid on our shaker and we're gonna shake it. So I don't know who the band is outside, but they're jamming, jamming. Okay, so you're gonna grab your favorite glass, and then we are going to strain this out into said favorite glass. <gasps> Ooh, that's very pretty. And then we got our beautiful foam. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. And then to garnish, we're gonna do a sprig of rosemary. Oh, a lemon zest. We're gonna just, you know, rub that around here. And then, I think these are gonna look so pretty on top. We're gonna do some edible flowers, cause why not? Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, love wins, cheers. That's so good. It pulls in the notes from, you know, just drinking it over ice. So it's tart, it's a little bitter. You get the like nice aroma from it. I don't really get the black pepper too, too much. Maybe just a little bit and that's what keeps it kind of mellowed out. So it's not like overly sweet. Because you do get the sweetness from the simple syrup. You get the sour from the lemon juice. And then obviously the foam is always pretty. This is something you definitely make if you want to be a little fancy. You want to impress your friends. I mean, all of these would impress your friends, but if you want like something that's like very appealing to the eye, especially adding like the little flowers on it, it's good stuff. So our last, for better for worse, that we're trying today is called Smoky Number 56. Not gonna lie, this is the one that I was the most excited to try. When I was speaking with Shelly, she described it as though, you know, 
whiskey and mezcal had a baby. The thing that intrigues me the most about this is the diversity of which you can use it. It's kind of funny, this can be used to make tiki drinks, but it can also be used in a Bloody Mary. And if you know me, I love Bloody Marys. It's my favorite. It's probably the thing that I miss the most from uh, drinking. That's my favorite drink of all time. I could drink multiples of them. I know some people are like, oh, they're so heavy. No, it doesn't matter. I can drink a whole pitcher. It wouldn't, wouldn't phase me. So the fact that we can make a Bloody Mary with this, I am so excited. All right, so on the bottle, it says smoke, hint of maple, and citrus. So we're gonna, just like we did with the others, we're gonna try it over ice. And we're actually gonna be making two different drinks with this because the range it has, I wanna, I wanna put to the test. I'm gonna pour a little bit over ice. So you can smell the smokiness. I feel like I get the maple as well. Smoky number 56. Hold on. Oh my God. Oh my God. The immediate first thing I got was like salty, which like, Salt, smoke. So it's like salt smoke, like they both go boom, boom. Yeah, a little bit of citrus. Ah, uh, now I can see why this is gonna make a banging Bloody Mary. Without further ado, let's get into the Smoky Mary. Take your shaker full of ice. We're gonna do two ounces of the Smoky. Then we're gonna do three ounces of a good quality Bloody Mary mix. I was gonna make my own, but then I was lazy. So I bought this one. I know it's really good, I've had it before. It says to use a spicy Bloody Mary mix, but I like spice, but not too, too much spice. So I know I like the level of spice in this. So we're gonna do three ounces of the mix. And I'm pretty sure, I just realized that I've been using the wrong measurements. I'm making all my drinks doubles, guys, but. Oh well. And then you add one ounce of lemon juice or to taste. I'm gonna go shake this because it is very red and that would be really bad. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. It is mixed. It has been shaken. Now we're going to strain it over our ice. In my cup today, I forgot to buy garnishes. Like I've been so out of the Bloody Mary game for so long now that like I forgot. So I decided to do a little tahine rim. So we're gonna try that. Oh my god, it looks perfect! Hello, my darling. <laughs> There's more in there too. Don't worry, it'll get drank. Cheers! This is the Smoky Mary. I'm gonna try it without the tea first and then I'll go over there. Oh my god. Holy crap. Notice I'm holding this with my two hands. I'm like, hello, my, this is my baby. Hi, baby. Oh my God, it's so good. You get the, obviously you get the flavors from the Bloody Mary mix, but it's like the salt and the smoke. It like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just perfect. It's perfection. I, I, it gives you that umami. That's the thing with this drink. You're getting that, them umami vibes, which I love. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Highly recommend the tahini rim. Ooh, now you get a little bit more citrus, a little bit more spice. Oh, just when you thought it couldn't get better. Oh my God. I'm just gonna take a moment. I'm gonna listen to the beautiful music outside. I'm gonna drink my Bloody Mary. This is hands down the best drink I have had thus far on this journey. So like I said before, the Smoky number 56 intrigued me because you can use it so diversely. Since we just had an Bloody Mary, we have to have a tiki drink. We have to. I have to see how something can do both. We're gonna make what is called the Boogie Wonder. So to start, you have your shaker. We're gonna do what's called a whip shake, which I've never done. So it just has one, one singular piece of ice. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of the smoky. Then we're gonna do two ounces of coconut cream. Then we're gonna do an ounce of pineapple juice. All right, so there's a story with this. I bought a pineapple so I could garnish this drink really cool. And I thought I could just like blend pineapple, but then I got lazy and didn't want to cut the pineapple because I already had frozen pineapple. So I, I defrosted the pineapple, but not the whole way. It's a really long story for what this is. So basically I have this whipped up pineapple kind of puree, kind of frozen still whip pineapple thing. So we're gonna use that. So we do one ounce. 
Then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. And then the last ingredient calls for Steen's cane sugar syrup, but it does say you can substitute a mixture that is three parts simple syrup to one part molasses. So that is actually what I had, because I had molasses. Why? I could not tell you why. So we're gonna do a half an ounce. I'm gonna go shake this, and it says for the whip shake, you just like shake it really hard, and I'll be back. I'm back from a whip shake. <laughs> it whipped me. We're going to strain this into our glass. That's a cool color. And then we're going to top it with crushed ice, and then garnished, yeah, a little pineapple leaf. That's why I actually bought the pineapple, just so I could have that. This looks so good. Okay, so remember, this was made with the same base that I just had Bloody Mary with. Let's see how it goes. The Boogie Wonder. Wow, what the? I'm perplexed. First of all, this is amazing. It's smooth and creamy. It has a hint of sweetness. You get the pineapple, you get some of the smoke. I don't taste a ton of it. Oh no, you do. Then it's like the salty offsets the sweetness of the pineapple. And it gets that like rich flavor from the molasses that's in here. Get you a girl that can do both. I am so glad to have these products in my life. And the fact that all of the flavors come from natural botanicals. There's no artificial sweeteners. There's no artificial garbage. This is incredible. These drinks are a hundred out of 10. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this. Run, don't walk to For Bitter, For Worse. I'll put the link in the descriptions. If you like this video, again, please like the video. Leave me a comment. If you have any questions about these products, let me know. And like always, subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna finish drinking this drink and I'm, I think I'm gonna go downstairs and listen to the music outside. Have a good weekend, bye!